Hello, welcome to Literary Life. Um, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my July apostrophe book box um, that came. This is actually my third attempt to do it. I have been incredibly sick with a cold and my prior two attempts la resulted in coughing fits. And um, so anyway, uh, so I do already know it's in here, but I'm definitely excited to dig into one today. I can wait no longer. And um, so I'm going to show you and, and hopefully get to enjoy. Um, so Apostrophe Box, for those of you that may not be familiar, um, I offer a book and coffee, uh, which is awesome. And the coffee is from a small, um, I don't know if it's micro beanery, what, what they're called, but it's, it's a local place within the United States, a smaller um, uh, business that makes uh, their own coffees. And you can get a light option like I do. I think I pay 35 with shipping. Um, or you can get the full size option, which will also include a snackable item and then another usable item like a candle, mug, journal, um, sort of thing. And I think that option before shipping comes in around 35 on um, what I pay with shipping, 35 to 40, and then you pay for shipping on top of that. Um, you also get a couple pieces of swag. But what I'm going to be unboxing today are the, um, the light box, just to revisit that. So when the light box comes, you actually receive a priority mail envelope, and so don't be thrown. Um, that is your apostrophe box. But when you open up that envelope, you'll see your very cute apostrophe box envelope. Um, there, I like their sticker too. And um, so this is where all the good stuff is. And as you can see, already open because I tried. I totally tried. So as I mentioned, you get a full size thing of coffee. and. Um, I think this is my third month uh, so far. The other two months had whole bean coffee, and this is the first month um, it's ground coffee. This one is by The Midsummer Night's Dream by uh, The Wood Baby Blend um, by Coffee Shop of Horrors, and it's a magical mixture of chocolate and caramel, and it smells incredible. And this one is out of Florida. So there is that, and this is what... I was just dying, looking forward to um, having this morning. So I'm going to be digging into that for sure. Mm. And then there was a very cute postcard with a quote, which I'm not going to read because I will have a coughing fit, um, but from Lord of the Rings, which I wish my camera was focusing, and it's not, um, but very nice postcard there. I don't know if it's a postcard. It's just a card, a print. <coughs> the list of all items inside and the items you would have received if you got the full box. The other thing I like that they do is they announce the genre. So like I, I didn't remember, but this one is the fantasy genre, but they tell you next month to give you a little thank you card. And so now I know next month will be literary mystery. So I think that's kind of funny. You have a sense of what to look forward to. Every month they give you a cute bookmark there. And then every month you get one of these coasters as well. And I really like these. They're the disposable-ish kind. Um, so they're perfect for like when I have parties, I'm just stacking them up and that way I can kind of throw them out every which way. So now on to the good part, of course, the book. <coughs> Excuse me. So this month, as I mentioned, um, is fantasy. And this is um, King of Ashes by Raymond Feist. And I have not read anything by Raymond Feist before, um, but there is a picture of the author. He has co-authored 29 previous books, um, all but one of which are Rift War Cycle novels, and I have not um, read those. He lives in San Diego, California. Um, this is a very good size hardcover. It will be a new release. They send you a new release. Um, every month, and it's coming in at just under 500 pages, or about 500. Um, and so I'm not going to read the whole synopsis, but um, there's five kingdoms, uh, twin continents that have coexisted, but that balance of power is destroyed when four of the kingdoms violate a covenant and betray the fifth. So that's basically the gist, and I won't go into all this because I won't be able to. But I will definitely, I don't you know if I have a, I can't remember if I have like a coupon link. Um, I think I do, but I'll put it below regardless so you can at least get to it if you want to check out the site. Um, but this is definitely fun for coffee lovers. Um, and I love the fact that it's a new release book with shifting genres um, and the fact that they announced the genre. So say you're not a fantasy reader. I do read fantasy occasionally. 
but you know, oh, that's not my genre. I can skip. Um, like romance is is not my genre. Um, so you kind of know, you know, what you like and what you don't, and um, you can skip. So I do like that piece of it. Um, so definitely, um, if you're interested, check out the link below. Once I've read the book, I will do a book review that I'll have up as well. Um, but other than that, um, enjoy and happy reading.